In this session, you'll learn how to define your own helper method. This helper method will recognize what page the browser is displaying and highlight that page link in the navigation bar. The method will be containing arguments that will pass the instructions of the methods. All right, so let's get started. Open up your terminal window and then cd into your projects directory. So type cd and the name of your projects directory. So I would type ROR projects and then slash blog. Hit enter and then open up your text editor. I type adam space dot to open up my text editor. While adam is open up, let's start the uh, Rails server, so I open up the new tab and then I type Rails space S. All right, in your text editor, go to the folder named Helpers and open up application underscore helper dot RB. This is where we will define our own helper method. And in the views folder, goes to shared and open up the navigation partial. So these are the two main files that we're going to work with. Uh, let's go to the browser and open up the our app. So type localhost colon 3000. So basically what we want to do, we want to have our um, web page here. If it's on home, it's going to highlight that. And if it's on the blog page, it would highlight the blog nav link. So go to the navigation helper. And I will here actually just type out some pseudocode in a comment to just you know, show what we want to do. So basically what we want to, wanted to do is like, if it is on an active page, then the color will be white. And if it's not on the active page, then the color would then be just the default or yeah, the regular color. Okay. This could be done by the CSS attribute active, but this is a better way to do it to really understand uh, the helper method. So let's define the helper method type DEF, I indenting it, and I will give it the name of active underscore link underscore two and type parentheses. Okay, within these parentheses, we would have our arguments and close it with an end tag. So let's think of what argument we wa want in here. So we wanted to take arguments that one will be a link argument. We also need a, let's see what we need here. We need then an argument that passes the instruction so we can identify what page it is on. And then we need an argument that actually passes the style, basically tells it to change the font color. So the good names for these arguments are, is first then nav link. And then the second argument will be an action. And the third argument, we actually need a URL. We need the path name. Remember when we have links, we have the path, for instance, welcome underscore index underscore path. So name that URL. That's a logical name for that argument. And the fourth argument 
could be named style. Right? So basically let's go to your controller and to the articles controller. Remember that we have these actions index, new, show, etc. And also let's go to config and open up your routes file. And let's remind ourselves what this is. Remember that each action corresponds to a specific controller that links to a view page. So here I can type if action underscore name is equivalent to, that's two equal signs, action. Then I wanted to return, so type return, link underscore two, and return, I'm going to type nav link, nav underscore link. So if it is, is on the action page, it's going to return nav link, the URL, and then the class style. This is the style that would give it the special color for the page that it's on. Else, it will return link to and only the nav link and the URL path. We will need some more things, but this is good for now. And the if st statement. So the if statement ends and the definition ends correctly and they, those maps up. All right, let's go to the style sheet and open up navigation.scss. And let's define our class for our uh, highlighted nav link text. Let's name that active underscore nav dash link. And curly brackets. And we're just going to give it a color of white. So type color colon pound sign FF FF FF. And I'm, let's just put in an exclamation mark important just in case that uh, Bootstrap does a few things here. Right, save it. Now go to your navigation partial. And this is where we need to change a few things. So instead of link to here, this is where we now will name it by our own method, active underscore link to. So right in front here, type active underscore link. Save everything. And let's go to the uh, browse and refresh. Okay, we got an error. I knew we would get an error, but it's good here. Let's see what it says here. It says wrong number of arguments. So the page was giving three, but expected four. So let's go to the application helper and here are our four arguments that it was expected to see, but it was only given three. So we were giving the home, but we were missing the action argument, which is index. So now we have home, index, the URL, and the nav link. Okay, let's think about this a little bit more. I will write a comment up here and we will carefully map things out in our heads. So what we first have for our arguments in our application helper, we have the nav link and then we have the action argument. Then we have the URL argument and then style. Close this comment here. And we don't need this class. It's actually being all passed within the style argument. And remember our class is named active 
underscore nav dash link. So that is what it needs to be called. So let's take a look at what we have now. So the nav link is matching to the home link here. The action is mapped to the index action. The URL is mapped to the welcome underscore index underscore path. And the style is matched to the class active underscore nav dash link. All right, so save everything, go to the browser and refresh. Now it should work. Go cool, cool. All right, the, the styling is out of whack. We will do that in the end. But for now, it worked. Okay, so let's continue. Mm. Yeah, so this na nav item here is no longer working. But let's, we're going to style it in the end and make it all pretty. So here for the blog page, let's put in the active underscore link underscore two. And let's put in, so let's think about one thing here, actually. Let's go back to the controller again and to the articles controller. Now, this action that needs to go to the blog page is also named index. It will cause a problem, and we're going to fix that in a second. But for now, type in index here as well. And we don't need this uh, class but uh, we need to call our homegrown class now active underscore nav dash link. All right, let's go to the browser and refresh. All right, so now it actually does call our uh, homegrown method. It just doesn't work properly yet. So we need to make sure that the navigation knows what index it's on. So remember we have an index in the welcome controller and the index in the articles controller. So we need to put in a name here, an argument for a specific controller then. So I will name it C-O-N-T-R-L and here I can actually call by a method named controller underscore name an equivalent, that's two equal sign again, copy this here, controller, type two ampersand, and, and, and. Now, now we have a huge conditional statement. It would be able to read what controller it needs to, it is on, and it also matches the action it is on. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're all good here now, almost. S but not actually, we actually not completely good because it's still calling the same class. But remember that in CSS, we actually have something called the ID selector, which is used when we used to call something very unique on a page. So go back to your navigation.scss, copy the active nav link here and paste it. And then we change this to an ID selector by putting a pound sign in front of it. And for the class selector, just copy the nav link uh, color and paste it in for the nav link there. Okay. Right. And back in the application helpers, change the class to ID. And down here, we will now type class colon style. Okay, go to the browser and refresh. Refreshing. Oh, okay. S Similarly as before, wrong number of argument. I forgot to call the controller name. So in your navigation partial, here we need to put in the name of the welcome controller. And underneath for the blog, we need to put it in, put in for the articles controller and a comma there. Now save everything and go to the browser and refresh.
Okay, there we go. All right, so now blog is highlighted, but home is not. Click home. Now home is highlighted, but blog is not. Okay, now let's actually style this, um, the pages here, um, or the links. And that is actually done from the bootstrap. So go to the f a folder where you have your bootstrap, um, click on the distribution, click on CSS, and here open up your bootstrap, full bootstrap file. <laughs> and we will be searching in here for the nav dash link. So go to your search um, bar. And then here I type da dot nav dash link and then I will leave a space afterwards. That would narrow our selection. Hit find. Good. And this is the first one. This is what we need. Display blo blo block and the padding. Copy this code. Go back to the navigation.scss and paste it in both in your ID selector and in your class selector. Okay, save everything and then go back to the browser and refresh. Refreshing. Okay, cool. All right. So that looks actually good. Now the only thing is about, uh, um, I think it's Bootstrap that's messing that up. So go back to navigation.scss and put in exclamation mark important uh, here by the nav dash item dash o a link. Okay, refresh again in the browser. Okay, cool. So now it looks good. Click on the blog. So now blog is highlighted. Okay, perfect. All right. So all looks actually fine. Okay, let's let's just take a look at one more time what we did here. So we defined our application helper here, a special helper named it active underscore link with four arguments that returned one thing in the ID style. And if it was on one on the home on the page in question, if not, uh, it left it at another color. OK, I'm going to close everything and now we will commit. So go to your terminal, type git status, all right, type git space add space dot, and then do git commit dash m, single quotation. And what do we did do? We added a custom method, or helper method, for uh, active links in the navigation bar. All right, I think that does it. All right, save everything, clear, and then do git status. All should be good. Perfect. All right, I see you next time. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.